Earl Phelps, a shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. <laughs> we already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. We didn't get all of it. I don't mind that you're Mouthpiece talking. Mouthpiece for strips so off me at the grand jury. Case got listening. thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. God damn it. Just can't seem to put this morphine to sleep. A dead judge. It's not good. Everyone has their vices. Even you, Phelps. That bum took a swipe and put him down on my staff. I don't know what makes you so stupid, but it really works. I like this police station. It looks kind of nice looking. Ooh. And this car. Best police car I've seen yet. Parker and Green are going toe to toe for the top job. There's a change in the wind. About time. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. Hey, Sentry, in a citizen report, suspicious activity on a trolley car on Fountain Avenue. Stand by for further information. Any Sentry unit? No, thanks. I got a case to do. Excuse me. Oh, really? That stopped me. I just busted through uh, light boats. And that stopped me. Okay. The 111 Club. I think this is the really nice one that we've been going to in the cutscenes, if I can remember correctly. Let's check it out. It is. Homicide guys are already inside. I don't know for sure. Bukowski. Phelps. Hello. Back again. Hey, buddy. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non com in my old unit. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. Waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. Okay. Hey there, buddy. Ooh, damn. Must have pumped a dozen rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. Damn, yeah, he just got tore up. They really want to kill him, not just like put him down. Just a cigarette thing, huh? Not much. Cigarette from it. When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try Let again. Let me through. I just want a quick look is all. What's this? Matches. Oh, it's the 111 club. Okay, I thought it was an M. All the good ones, Phelps. Now, if he has... Well-maintained, custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. Maybe not the instrument. Maybe... What's in the instrument? 
What's that click? Exactly. Put it down. Out, out. Central. Hey, oh, got it right. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. We should follow up on the musician angle. Uh, Another day kept his stash close at hand. Yeah. Anything else? No. Can't inspect any of that, I suppose. Oh, damn. Oh, they just had to add that sound effect of the blood moving, didn't they? Ugh. His fingers are curled up. Really weird. No! Oh. We have a new source. Or is this coming from what's left in circulation? I don't know. Can I check his other pocket? surplus again. And the Goldrick must have been moving contraband through the club. Oh, this is? This is Armory Surplus? Oh yeah, the SS Cool Ridge. Okay. Yeah. There's another thing to check out? A dozen packs to a carton. A hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months supply. Okay, that's why the cigarettes are important. Guns? What do you need guns for? These look brand new. Never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. Yeah, they're bar. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. Yeah. Let's check the bar one more time and then we'll talk to the lady. Can I step down? Okay. Let me talk to you. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, Administrative Vice Squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. You're lying, but... I have nothing that says that she knows, so push. Doubt. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you? This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Are you getting the picture? Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. True. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie sure. was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. I gotta admit, though, the whole time I was talking to her, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Gamer Poop, 
but it sounds funny as hell. What did Eddie do? Fuck Eddie. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Just when I think I've seen it all. If you guys haven't seen Gamer Poop, you definitely should. It's funny as hell. Let me check this guy's body out. This is Eddie. Bad luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city. Yeah. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Damn, dude. What do you got in your pockets, buddy? Nothing there. Nothing there. Well, gotta have something in here that's worth, like the safe with money. They didn't even try to crack the safe. Why didn't they try to take the money? They just tried to kill him. Straight up. That's it. Here, Eddie, you got something behind your desk here? No, I don't think so. Something behind here? I don't think so. You all seem to be standing around. Shouldn't you be working? So, what's going on over there? So, where to next? Let's check out. Let's check out what was missing. And then we'll head to the blue room. Maybe we'll find How more stuff there. How old did you know there. the owner? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life, getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. Ain't that true. See, but they didn't take the money out of the safe. They weren't after the money. They were just trying to kill him. This car cost me a fortune, you moron! Yeah, screw you. You didn't, you didn't buy it. You stole it. I bet you got the money on the side. Whoa, what's happening here? What? What's going on? That fucking rat stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is L.A.'s most famous madam. And everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Ors have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? <laughs> he objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robber detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll Thanks. This way. Yeah, I want to make homicide. You know you've got it made if you can get to that desk. Eric, you got a minute? Are you, bro? Sure, Cole, any time. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs, case of Thompsons, crate of Valor Smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here it is. Thanks. So, how do we connect the docks robbery you know to the mess at the 111 Club? Desk. Okay, so we're looking for... Uh, Eddie. Oh, hey, Courtney Sheldon. Hey, I know that name. But I think we're looking more for Eddie. Uh, no problem, this. 
Or is it Courtney Sheldon? I've been in this job 20 years. I never oh. fired my gun. This is the crate we recovered. Nine. Jack Kelso. Oh my gosh. Uh, B-A-R. It is Albert Reading. Uh, do I have to tap over here? You think the Vice Boys get any on this? Here's side? our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. Thompson's. Enough to arm three companies. Morphine. Half a million Surrettes loose on the streets of L.A. Christopher Maxwell. Some of these guys are from my old unit. They must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon, McGoldrick. McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. Ooh. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Thanks, Harry. Stay in touch on this. Thank you. So we gotta go talk to a drug kingpin. And where's the stairs in this joint? I can never remember where. You know you've made it if you got that desk. Now uh, these torch strips off me at the grand jury. Here. The case was thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. Damn, bro, just trying to get a story. <clears throat> We're missing something here? Well, apparently we're missing something here, but we're just gonna go to the blue room. So, half your old lackeys were on that boat, the late Mr. Goldrick included. They weren't my lackeys. Subordinates, then, whatever you want to call them. There were a lot of people on that boat. Maybe you're behind this whole thing, Phelps. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a master stroke? Hey. Cut me in early and we'll ride this one into the sunset. Sounds like you've got the case all sewn up, Roy. We should call it a day and go home. And miss out on the blue room? I couldn't do that to ya. The blue room, that's where that's where we've gone into cutscenes before. Right there. That cherry pie was Hey there, guys. What's going on? I check coats. That's all I get paid to do. Jeez, okay, asshole. Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lickman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good mm -hmm. point. We don't. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries under Stumfuhrer? I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink while I see to this? Damn, dude. He's got a hot temper towards her. Will you sit down? Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. Mm. There's nothing special. 
What about lie? Hopheads appear to get a free pass at this club. You all know about the morphine. And how do you expect to prove that? I have a rehearsal to finish. Ah! Time for you to leave. Stupid. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. Liar. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. What's going on here? Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against Narcotic? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, Detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. And very noble. But... Words are just words, call Phelps. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen? Do you know where to find him? <laughs> you this time of day? Cohen. You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. What? Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. Wait, what? I, I don't get it. Maybe like she might know something. Where are you going? Is this where you live or something? Why are we going to your... to your, uh... apartment? What 
the hell? What are we doing? No. He didn't. He didn't. Oh, Cole, you sad little man. LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three. If you'll follow <laughs> Which me. Which table? See the dream boat here. I love it. Boy, let's take it some better days. Goddamn ruins are having a season. Hey there. Time. LAPD, yeah. we have some questions. Hi, regarding... Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps, Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Meet Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. <laughs> or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, <laughs> have you Roy? Finished you flirting? around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold. We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Nah. Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. That was an old case. I can't say, like... I just gotta push him. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment. Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit, and I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. <laughs> ask a question you might get an answer to. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. Really? So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. Quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for schmendricks like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. <laughs> We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright in that easy. We'll see. They do know where it is. Detectives, KGPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. Whoa! Every car. Go! Every car? I want to make homicide. You know you made it. You did that, yeah. You think those vice boys get any on the side? Well, if we got someone spraying down a bus, we don't want to take Roy's car, do we? I recognize that guy from the paper. We gotta take a nice car. We gotta take a fire truck. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're gonna take Roy's car. Bus shooting. I wonder if that's from one of the Thompson machine guns that was missing Officer, on the manifest. Officers need help at 1384 North Bronson. 1384 North Bronson. Shots fired. Any units to handle identify. Code 3. Yeah, we're coming, we're coming. 
All units, further on the scene at 1384 North Bronson. 116 Adam reports the suspect is on the roof of the JW Robinson building. All units approach with caution. Units 49 William, 15 Adam, go to 1370 Gordon Street. Establish a perimeter and stand by for further. Any other units to respond, code 3, identify. Jeez, we're having like everyone go here. Oh, it's a BAR. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's a serious gun, dude. Oh! Oh! Damn! Enforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Can't get up there. Come on. Poke your pretty Surrender little head out. Or I will use deadly force. Gotcha. <laughs> that was just pure luck, though. Oh my god, why did he light up the, the bus? I think he's, I think he's one of Cohen's guys. Hands? Of course not. Pockets, of course. Phone number and restaurant table. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, it's Cohen's guys. Right here. Nothing. Let's check the gun. B.A.R. It's one of the B.A.R.'s. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, nope, let me check the ammo. I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship? His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? This is my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. What else? I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. It was a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? You know. Felix, we didn't go through Okinawa to come back to this on our streets. 
I've got the LAPD to keep me safe, right? Me and all my people. We'll be in touch. Whatever. You heard that Jack is in LA? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. Sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, detective. Shit. Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. Oh, I gotta call someone. Yay! Who am I gonna call? Who am I gonna call? Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Uh oh. Just a second. Jack Kelso, apartment 4, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks, man. Here we go. Gotta go talk to good old Jackie boy. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. He's a tough customer. I'm gonna go finally talk to Jack Kelso. It's been a long time since the war. And they don't know this, but since we know we watch the newspaper clippings, Kelso is involved with the morphine. Hello, Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. <laughs> Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. <laughs> I love it! Yes! Jack Kelso. Badass. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You'd better watch your mouth. <laughs> Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Liar. You want to take a guess where he got hold of the cash? Not really. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. I saw Felix Alvaro today. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. 
Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack! Let's get this over with. <laughs> Let's get it over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Yes, you do. Jack, we just want You help Shelves and get away oh, with that! Shit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? Yeah. Another Marine from the company. How many more friends of yours are going to get plugged today? Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. Oh, the big old circle diner. I've driven through the They just walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers, they went that way. In the Go on, get after him. Come on, dude. take the shot from they here. They got their tires. Get in close and steer him off the tar. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. Come on. Get their tires, Spin dude. Him, Spin him out. Let's see how fast he runs on bare rims. Hit him. Clear this asshole off the road. It's no good. We need to get closer. We're going to get closer. Guys, just give me a second. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Guys, I'm gonna go quiet. Open fire! What the war over again? Okay, I'd really like you. I really like you to come this way. Stop firing upon me. If you pop out one more time, I will kill you. Fair warning. Another, another, uh, Italian, it looks like. Probably part of Mickey Cohen's squad. An LAPD file? We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. Oh no. Oh no. Cohen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. Sweet. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. Just another BAR. Okay. Let's go to the Chinese theater. It looks like that's where the next place they're going to be is at. Chinese theater. Oh, well, apparently I'm missing something. Taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? How does that get them the dope? 
should have checked the other shooter. Maybe the car? No, the other shooter. Oh, or is that it? Oh, that's the newspaper! What's going on here? We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mayor? Oh, no. District Attorney? Who is this guy? And what does he want, Horrell? The name's Roy Earl, Detective, Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD, oh, you and his commitment to the public, bitch. we all serve. Could be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. Oh, you son of a bitch. You're gonna you're gonna give us up. Might as well shoot you right the fuck now. Get your ass in the car. Let's check out the Chinese theater first. Citizen, you just bounced off the fucking hood, Phelps. Oh, this looks pretty nice. Oh, no. Oh, no, those two right there. Oh God! Well, I think the audio is a little bit messed up. Scare him off the car. The audio is a little bit messed up, but that's okay. Getting close. Scare him off the car. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. It's no good. We need to get closer. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. LAPD, put your hands in the air. Give up now. Give up now. God. Ooh, my aim is off. I think the game's tweaking out on me. It didn't give me a full view. <laughs> Um, um, we have a dead guy, right? Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> OK, 
guess to the post office we go. Sorry, I'm not going to do any street crimes. I'm all about the case. Is there any shooting? There's a lot of them in there. What if I'll be able to- Oh no! One got shot! Shit. Save him, dude. Give me a Tommy gun. more. Oh! I did not just shoot a guy, did I? That was a random shot. Should not have counted. Give me a Tommy gun. He's still alive. Tell Courtney. B bad luck. <coughs> Tell Courtney? It was worth a try. It was worth a try. Oh. Oh, that's so messed up. God. Polar Bear Ice Company. Really did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? He just admitted he did it. Anything in this hand? Nothing in his pockets. That's messed up how he just confessed. Happening now. Well, apparently, I missed something. Thought I might have because it didn't do anything. Staff only. Go this way. Inspect them at all.
mean, I already inspected this, so... What else am I supposed to do here? You better go find out what happened here. I did, I... Oh! Okay. Okay. Whoa! Who's this guy? There's another dead guy. What do you got in your pockets, boy? This one? Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. North Las Palmas. Okay, so there's apparently a meeting tonight. Majewski, Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll, these are good guys. Why did they get wrapped up in this thing? Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. Let's go to the meeting place. This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. See what we're missing. There, light them up. All right, let's kill these rat bastards. What the hell? Oh god. Find some cover. Give me your shotgun, gun, boy. Space here. Oh, VAR. They're making a run for it after them. Stay in cover. Where you guys running to? I'm gonna get you. Oh god, VAR! Oh, this is not gonna end good. Okay. Well, I wasn't that bad. I just shot him in the ass. I guess. I'm gonna put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. Day. Car 11 King. 11 K, go to Hollywood Station. A Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole. Courtney Sheldon? Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11 K. I'll take that as a roger. Car <laughs> 11 King en route. Well, I'll be damned. Let's go see why Shelton showed up. He might even confess to everything. Oh God! I hope you got some money saved up. Christ alive, this is a nightmare! Roy, 
In my office, if you please. I'm working a major case. I'm not close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But, Cap, no buts. This is more important. Oh, no. He thinks it's and good, but it's not. Now he forced strips off me at the grand stuff. jury. Case was thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. Hey! Sheldon. Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Coolridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has yeah. a very bright future. Oh, more like nice to know. the resupply. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. It leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. You're training to be a doctor, Courtney. How do you justify all of these deaths? You're supposed to want to save people. Before you get on your high horse, I saved my fair share in Peleliu and Okinawa. My conscience is clear. How do you sleep at night? You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes, that's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. Isn't there anything else you can do? Yes, it does. How do you think this is going to play out? Ah, they're going to be you, doubt. Jack. What's this got to do with Jack? Jack would never be involved in anything like this. But you would. He has already denied any wrongdoing. Have you finished, Detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor! Good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. Why? What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. What? Why? You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's Sir, heart. Sir, what is going on here? You're suspended, Phelps. And of your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures. Like She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife, your children, consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. A hand over the gun, keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. Oh, my God. What the hell were you thinking? Oh my god. You learn. Well, his wife left him. Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave. You're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him. 
I'd like to explain, Marie. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. Jeez, oh, come on! This is just a cover-up of the of the politicians. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Oh my god, dude. What the hell? Are you shitting me? Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh my god! <laughs>